People deluded, I'm back again. Thank you very much for tuning back in. Now, I apologise for the late post. I know it's been almost, well, basically a week since the Ars Arsenal's under-23s played. Like I said in the under-18s video, life just caught up with a guy. I've just had too much to do, both in terms of YouTube and out of this, and I just haven't had time to speak about youth content. So, yeah, man, like I said, Arsenal's under-23s versus Tottenham. You know, Tottenham won... Arsenal won. We share a point of the spoils. Neither team in the North London derby gets the rubber the green. Making this of the time, at the time of making this video, like I said, it's a Friday. We're actually in action against Chelsea today and Reese Nelson will be playing apparently based on the team being, being released and things. So it'll be good. Um, but in relation to this game, obviously, you know, Spurs missed the chance at the time to gain further ground top of the table. Obviously, with that, at the time of this video, we remain sixth. And it's been a mixed season at 23s. There's been some highs, there's been some lows. The long and short of this game, the best way I can describe it is much like the 18s in their 3-0 defeat to Crystal Palace Um at the well last week, I think we cost us. We shot ourselves in the foot, and we're the only reason we never got to. We never collected those two extra points. Don't get it twisted. Spurs did threaten on numerous times, and they were a threat from wide areas, and they probably had chances. They should have converted more as well. I'm sure their players would say. Um, but uh, but at the end of the day, people, we shot ourselves. We shot ourselves in the foot. That's the only way to describe it. We should have walked away with three points, um, especially definitely based on the first half. People, the first half, we was all on top of them. I thought it was a wavy thing, you know. Um, to accommodate Molo, it looks like Balogun's playing slightly in the not as a, quite as a striker, not quite as a winger, and he's getting on the last man a lot. Joel Lopez is flying forward. Ben Cottrell is working hard, as you know, and he needs to be playing senior football at some level next year. I don't think he's his talent's gonna he's he's gonna develop and be able to reach the next level playing twenty threes. He's left this same as Balogun as well. Um, you know, it was wavy people. You know, Patino a start for him at this level. He's doing well. We're doing all right. Like we're we're we're, we're first to the the ball we're moving the ball well we're creating chances um it's hard to pick out at this time a, a candidate out of all these players who's looking the best because we're all standing up we're away from home we're doing what we need to do maybe look at maybe we could you know switch on a bit because i think that was a sign to come i do think there was a couple of dodgy moments defensively or times our touches weren't quite as crisp as they could have been but definitely the first 20 minutes, we was faster than them, particularly down the left-hand side, we was doing well. And, you know, I think it came initially from a foul from on Charlie Patton. Oh, I could be wrong. Like I said, it was a week before. Um, but from that, eventually, you know, the ball falls to Ben Cottrell and he smashes it. People, it's a lovely finish. I'm sure at this moment you must have seen it. It's a lovely finish, you know, keep a no chance. And again, like I said, it would be a crime if he's playing at this level next year because I think he needs to follow on from his former former partner in crime and partner at this level, Matt Smith, and go and get senior minutes and play and develop. This level isn't going to help him, but he's playing well. Man to a man, we're playing well. And, you know, it's the age-old story, people. It's like, can we go and get some more? Because it's still it's still 1-0. And, and to be fair with you, Spurs did hit back. They are a good side. You know, I think their left back in particular played quite well. They can knock the ball around. They can move it and things like that. And in the 33rd minute, ultimately, you know, Arsenal potentially not building upon it. We conceded a cheat goal. It's a mixture of, like I might not simply say here, people switching off. People are playing people on side. We're not clearing our lines um, lines properly. You know, but I've said bo at both youth levels at this week, people, 18s and 23s, that was a case of it. And you get, again, ultimately, because of that, Ite strikes in the 33rd minute. Um, I think Marsh gets the assist. Um and he draws them back in the game, people and truly. Um, he gets them, he gets them back in it. And ultimately, it's a cheap goal that we've handed away, and kind of, you know, our hard work from starting well, I think, in the first 20 minutes. Within the last 13, you kind of switched off and you've been made to pay. So it kind of sets it up. So again, this is what these young boys need to learn. Second half, both teams could have done a thing as well, but ultimately it wasn't to be. So it's 1-1. One, one. And like I said, today we'll be playing against Chelsea. We ain't been given an easy draw. You know, two tough teams week in, week out. Obviously, Chelsea are a tough academy. So we live to fight another day at the moment in time of making this video. Hopefully there's a better reaction and we can score some goals against Chelsea and things like that, especially as we've got Reese Nelson in the lineup at, at this moment of time of making this vid. But in relation to the draw against Spurs, Spurs won, Arsenal won, a share of the spoils. Yeah, that's all I've got to say. So please make sure you hit the like button and all of those sort of things. People deluded. I'm out.